Ah, and we're and back, we're Trevor. back. And we're back, Trevor, and we're cooking on gas. And we're back. Yeah, yeah. you hear me all right? Yes, I can hear you all right. Can you hear me all right? But, yeah, I can, yeah. It's good. That's good, that's good, yeah. So, uh, welcome to the Football Referee. Me and my cars again on the Football Referee. <laughs> You've remembered the song title, I'm glad to say. All oh, right, that's a good song title, yeah. We should, we should, uh, we should write it together. Right, so uh, Trevor, England. Let's start with let's start with the cream de la cream of the Euros. Some people might not agree. No, let's talk. No, let, let's talk about England instead. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, let's talk about yeah. England. That's the cream de la cream. Yeah, absolutely. Of, of the Euros, yes. So Trevor, we've got world class players, and I and I say that with no reservation at all, because these guys are the best. You know, Foden, uh, Bellingham, uh, what's the other one? Uh, uh, even Conor, Conor Gallagher, that was brought in um, yesterday. It was, he made, he made, he made the start, didn't he? Uh, Conor, Conor, Conor Gallagher. Um, he did, yeah. Did yes, yeah. so uh, Trevor, I know we are winning, right? And they say if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. So, what do you make of England so far? Rubbish. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> well, you mentioned Conor Gallagher now. I like Conor Gallagher because he spent a year on loan at Palace a couple wow. of years ago. And he, and he was good in the sense that, as they say, he had bags of energy. He would, he would close down the goalkeeper if he was coming out with the ball. He just was everywhere. And he scored the odd goal, never too many goals. He was a midfield player. But wow. he's young. I think even now he's probably only 22, 23. So he's learning his trade. I, I don't consider him yet an international quality footballer. Right. So on the game before last night's one, yeah, um, he brought him on, didn't he? Southgate brought Gallagher on in place of Alexander-Arnold. Right. And I thought at the time, that's a mistake because there's other players he could have brought on who would have been much better. One was Cole Palmer, who did right. come on last night. Um, but I believe he should have started with him yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and if not Palmer, then the Palace midfield chap, um, Adam Walton, right. very good midfielder. So, yeah, I, I don't think Gallagher did much in the first half to justify his inclusion, really. As I say, I don't think he's yet an international quality footballer. But, yeah, you, as you say, we've won. We've won the group. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was it? Two draws and a win, wasn't it, out of the three yeah. games? Yeah. But as mo everyone seems to agree, and certainly the, the press and the media do, it's been a pretty underwhelming set of performances by England. Right. As you say, we've got some very good players, but they're not being put together properly. And I think a few weeks ago, when we were talking about this uh, to Femi as well, yeah, I, I made the point. I felt that England managers always should basically have their team in their mind fixed for two or three months before a tournament. Right. After all, they have two years between the World Cup and then the Euros each time, and they don't really have much else to do but get together for those pre-tournament things. Right. They should have had their team and be playing that team for every possible game and training well before. So when you get to the tournament, the England team or any team will be as close to a club side where they all know each other. Football is a game where you you, you get to know what your colleagues do, where they go, when they run, you know, where how they're going to pass to you. But yeah. we have good players who don't good, good players who don't um seem to be aware of what, what their you know their the rest of their teammates are about to do or doing. So lots of passes go astray. Uh, I think it, the fact that we won it shows it wasn't the strongest group. Even Denmark, I think, I think they only had three draws as far as I know. 
Um, so we topped the group, and I think what well, now we're playing on Sunday, aren't we? And I, I can't remember who we're playing or whether they even know yet. I think it will depend on results tonight. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, again, you know, I don't want to just sit and criticise the manager or anybody else, but in, in reality, I've never felt Gareth Southgate is a particularly great manager. Mm. He doesn't seem to. He doesn't seem to get it when it comes to. There are some players who anyone who knows football and is in football, they know they're a very good player. I don't know anyone who would say Cole Palmer is not up to it. He, he's excellent since he's been at Chelsea and he was at Man City before that. Great young player, young a young chap. Um, and there's others in the team who are very good. But Trent Alexander-Arnold, he started off in midfield when, in fact, in Liverpool, he's a right back. And Southgate said, oh, yeah, it's an experiment. Well, what's he doing? Doing an experiment which didn't work in the first and second games of yeah. the three-game group stage. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And, and I know it's irrelevant to the point. But when you think these England managers are on five, six million pounds a year for doing a job a lot of people would love to do, but many in the stands could do a hell of a lot better job than I think is being done at the moment. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't go along with... I mean, last night when the team and the management, the trait, the coaches went to thank the crowd, there's a few interesting pictures in the press today or, or on the phone yeah. um, of the crowd looking very angry at the at Southgate uh, not so much the players, although they have responsibility too, yeah. but the other coaches. And they some of them are throwing their, I think they're plastic, but they're throwing their pints of beer towards them. And I thought, well, that's a bit of a waste of good beer, really. But but they shouldn't be <laughs> they shouldn't be doing that. But Southgate, in response <laughs> afterwards, said, well, I understand the fans. They've got a right to be angry. I yeah. don't think they should be throwing things, though. So, yeah, I, I the, the trouble is, OK, we've come, we got out of the group. But if we carry on playing in that lacklustre, underwhelming way, yeah. we'll be knocked out by these better teams that now comprise the last 16. So, yeah, it's it's a great shame because there's a lot of football patriotism yeah. in, in England. Um, and it's a shame because I've, I've only seen one car with flags, England flags on, and I thought, well, why why you got that on your car? Because there's nothing to write home about at the moment. Oh. And and I don't think people are going to be motivated to do that unless we start to play as those players are capable of doing. And yeah. if they had someone like Alex Ferguson, the former Manchester United manager, or one or two other managers, they will be firing on all cylinders and, and really creating a great buzz um, for the crowd and for the fans back at home. Yeah. So yeah, it's um a bit of a mixed blessing, isn't it? Because we've gone forward, but I for one am not overly confident we'll go much further. But my final comment on that, we could end up winning it. You know, stranger things happen, don't they? I love that. What do you think? I love that optimism. Sure that bit of optimism in the end. I love that, Trevor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't very optimistic there. Nah, it's, it's by, we all love to hate. We love and hate England, don't we? Like, oh, we God, do. Man. Yeah, it always oh, happens. No. Yeah. But uh, here's what I was going to say. I was going to say, I think, and, and I, might, I might be totally wrong. I might be totally wrong. I think by some, um, by some stroke of luck, Gareth Southgate has, has been able to tailor make each match, each game for the way that he wants it to go. Um, and, and, I, and, I say, and I say that with great caution. But when you think about the way that we played against Serbia, for instance, in our first match, um, the first match, we first, the, the first half was a great half. The, the the other half was rubbish, but we won. And then we went on to the second game with Denmark. And then it, it was the first half was it was great. And then the next half was you know sort of where, you know we let them get the goal and you know it all went down. Yeah. But and I'm thinking, hang on a minute, maybe this guy is looking at uh, measured tactics. So he's looking at it and thinking, right, okay, do we need to 
come out all gun blazing on this match? Do we really need it? You know, is it would it be a waste of you know? Um, you know, I said that during the friendly. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, you know, I said that during the friendlies as well, and 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 Femi mm -hmm. and yourself sort of um, counter that, and 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 I and I understand why anybody would counter that, but. I wouldn't I wouldn't expand I wouldn't expend any energy that I don't need to. That's the way I look at it. Did we need to win the match yesterday? No. We didn't. Um and so it was like a, it was sort of a lukewarm um attitude going into the game um with the 